you believe that by simply stepping onto a train in Beijing, just one, five hours later, you could find yourself in Shanghai 746 miles away faster than it would take you to go through airport security and board a commercial flight? This is not science fiction. It's a reality that China is bringing to life with its ultra high-speed maglev train. In a groundbreaking trial in Shaanxi province in 2024, China's maglev train reached an astonishing speed of 621 mph, far surpassing the typical commercial airliner speed, which ranges from 547 to 575 mph. This achievement marks a new era for global transportation, where distance is no longer a barrier. This accomplishment is not just a remarkable number, it's also a testament to China's ambition to lead the transportation revolution, while other countries, including the U, are still grappling with outdated railway. China has made a bold investment in maglev technology, with projects like T-Flight promising to revolutionize the way we travel, connect, and grow. But how did China achieve this breakthrough? What is the vision and plan behind this achievement? Join Top 10 Discoveries official as we dive into the story of maglev technology from a pioneering engineering innovation to a symbol of China's technological ambitions, shaping a future of high-speed transportation for the entire world. In just two decades, China has written an astonishing story of transformation in the field of high-speed transportation turning a backward railway system into one of the most modern networks in the world. As of 2020, China boasts over 27, 960 miles of high-speed rail, accounting for two-thirds of the total global high-speed rail network. This figure not only reflects the massive scale, but also highlights the unprecedented speed of the country's development. From Beijing to Shanghai, from Guangzhou to Chengdu, hundreds of cities, large and small, are connected by modern trains that shorten travel times and boost economic growth. In just 15 years, China has built a transportation system that many countries would take centuries to achieve. In contrast, the United States still finds itself in the early stages of high-speed rail development. The U currently has just 456 miles of high-speed rail, primarily the Amtrak Acela line running along the East Coast, with a maximum speed of 150 mm Meanwhile, China's CR400 Fuxing train, dubbed the Revival, reaches speeds of 217 mpg, offering superior comfort and efficiency. This gap is not just in technology, but also in strategic vision. China has invested 550 billion in transportation infrastructure from 2016 to 25, a sum that far exceeds the 120 billion budget allocated by the U for railway projects under the Infrastructure Act of 2021. This strong investment has enabled China to build not only railways, but also an integrated network connecting economic hubs in remote areas. A significant milestone in this journey came in 2004, when China inaugurated the Shanghai Maglev Line, the world's first commercial maglev train, covering 18, six miles at a speed of 268 mph. This marked a turning point propelling China to the forefront of high-speed transportation technology. The line was not just a technical achievement, but a symbol of China's ambition to reshape the way the world moves. Since then, China has continued to expand its aspirations, investing in the research and development of ultra-high-speed projects like T-Flight with the goal of ushering transportation into a new era. It is this perseverance and long-term vision that has allowed China to outpace other nations including the U, in the race to build modern transportation infrastructure. These accomplishments have not only changed the way people travel, but they've also laid the foundation for a future where speed and efficiency become the standard. Maglev train or magnetic levitation trains are not just a mode of transportation. They are a testament to the intersection of science, engineering, and human ambition Unlike traditional trains that roll on track, maglev trains use powerful magnetic fields to levitate a few inches above the tracks, eliminating all mechanical friction. When combined with low vacuum tube technology, which reduces air resistance to a minimum, maglev trains can reach an astounding speed of 621 faster than conventional commercial airliners, which typically fly at speeds between 547 and 575 MPR. This technology is not just an engineering breakthrough, but a statement that China is leading the global transportation revolution. At the heart of maglev technology is the high temperature superconducting HTS system. This system uses superconducting magnets to generate strong magnetic fields, 
allowing the train to levitate stably without physical contact with the tracks. The result is a smooth operation with almost no vibrations or noise, providing an exceptional experience for passengers. More importantly, the HTS technology helps save up to 20% in energy costs compared to traditional high-speed trains, making maglev not only fast, but also efficient. A maglev train can accelerate from zero to 404 mar in just seven seconds and decelerate safely in less than 656 feet, a feat that other transportation modes can hardly match. The ability to operate stably at such extreme speeds opens up possibilities for long distance routes where travel time can be significantly reduced. When placed in an international context, China's superiority in maglev technology becomes even more apparent. In the U, the Hyperloop concept proposed by Elon Musk once gained attention with a goal of reaching 280 meet marm. However, the project was canceled in 2023 due to high construction costs and a lack of government support. Meanwhile, China continues to invest in research and development, with laboratories like Donghu and Hubei pushing the limits of maglev technology. Innovations like the ability to operate in low vacuum environments, combined with advanced control systems, have helped maglev trains become a symbol of China's innovation. This technology not only overcomes technical barriers, but also lays the foundation for ambitious projects promising to turn high-speed transportation from a scientific idea into a practical reality. These advancements have strengthened China's leadership position, while other countries are still struggling to catch up. The T-Flight project, led by the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, CASIC, is not just a technical breakthrough, but also a bold statement of China's ambition to shape the future of global transportation. In a historic trial in Shanxi province in 2024, the T-Flight train reached an incredible speed of 623 km over a one ish 24 mile track, officially breaking the previous world record set by Japan's L0 SCM Maglev train, which reached 602 mpia. This achievement has placed China ahead of Japan, once considered the pioneer in Maglev technology and laid the foundation for an unprecedented era of ultra-high-speed transportation. What makes T-Flight particularly special is not just its speed, but also the groundbreaking technologies integrated into the project. First, the artificial intelligence AI-driven navigation system allows the train to maintain an impressive positioning accuracy of just four millimeter, ensuring absolute safety even at extreme speed. This system continuously analyzes data from thousands of sensors predicting and addressing any risks in real time. Secondly, T-Flight utilizes vacuum tubes made from advanced composite materials, which are lighter and more durable than traditional steel, reducing infrastructure construction costs by 30% while withstanding low pressure environments. Additionally, the integrated renewable energy system, including solar powered batteries and energy regeneration mechanisms from braking forces, boosts energy efficiency by 15% compared to conventional maglev trains. Remarkably, the real-time sensor system monitors over 1 1 up command the hand miles and data points every second, from track temperature to train vibrations. Ensuring stable and safe operations, the T-Flight project is not stopping with these initial trials. China is constructing a 37-mile test track at the Donghu Laboratory in Hubei Province, expected to be completed by the end of 2025. This track will allow the train to reach speeds of up to 621 mm in a real-world environment, paving the way for commercial applications. When compared to other nations, T-Flight's superiority becomes even more evident. Japan, while developing the Tokyo-Nagoya maglev line with a maximum speed of 314 mm per is not expected to complete it until 2027, much slower than China's speed in progress. Meanwhile, the United States currently has no similar maglev projects. With efforts like the Hyperloop being canceled in 2023, T-Flight is not just a technological achievement, but a testament to China's ability to turn bold ideas into reality, laying the groundwork for a future of ultra high-speed transportation. China's ultra high-speed maglev train is not just a technological leap, it promises profound changes in economic, social, and environmental aspects. Economically, the maglev system can drastically shorten travel times between megacities, such as from Beijing to Shanghai, a distance of 746 miles, reducing travel time from five. 
Five hours by high-speed train to just one. Five hour, compared to airplanes, which take about two. Five hour, including airport procedures, the maglev saves nearly an hour. This speed not only provides convenience, but also boosts trade and tourism. With forecasts predicting an additional 2% contribution to China's GDP by 2030, key economic regions, from the Pearl River Delta to the Yangtze River Delta, will benefit from tighter connections, creating millions of job opportunities and regional economic growth. Socially, the maglev system has the potential to alleviate pressure on China's crowded airports. Beijing International Airport currently handles over 100 million passengers annually and often faces congestion. By diverting a portion of passengers to maglev, major cities will reduce congestion, improve travel experiences, and enhance urban residents' quality of life. Maglev lines connecting satellite cities to economic centers will also foster more balanced development, enabling underdeveloped areas to access better economic opportunities. Environmentally, the maglev train offers significant advantages over traditional transport. With emissions of only zero, zero eight key CO2 per mile per passenger, Maglev is more than 60% environmentally friendly compared to airplanes, which emit zero, two kilo on CO2 per mile per passenger. This aligns with China's commitment to carbon neutrality by 2060, making Maglev a crucial component of its green transportation strategy. When compared to the U, where road and air transport accounted for 29% of total greenhouse gas emissions in 2023, China is demonstrating a more sustainable approach. While the U, still relies on slower rail lines, such as the Los Angeles-San Francisco route, which takes up to three hours for 380 miles. China is building a transportation system that is not only faster, but also contributes to the protection of the planet. These impacts are not only changing the way people travel, but also setting a new standard for modern transportation. With China leading the way in combining speed, efficiency, and environmental responsibility, China's ultra-high-speed maglev train is not only a technological breakthrough, but also the foundation for an ambitious vision of the future of global transportation. Over the next decade, China aims to build a maglev network spanning more than 300 miles, connecting megacities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou by 2035. These routes will not only shorten travel times, but also create an integrated transportation system, driving economic and social development across the country. For example, the journey from Beijing to Shanghai, which is already fast at one, five hours by Maglo, will become the standard for other intercity routes, creating an unprecedentedly efficient transportation network. However, China's ambitions do not stop at its national borders. With the T-Flight project, the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, KASIC, is aiming for a bold goal, reaching speeds of two, 485 mph directly competing with supersonic aircraft. This speed, four times faster than current commercial jets, could make intercontinental travel a reality. Imagine a future where passengers can travel from Beijing to London, a distance of over 5,000 miles in just eight hours, compared to the current 11, 12 hours by plane. This vision is not just science fiction, but a goal that Chinese engineers are working towards through advanced experiments in laboratories like Donghu and Hubei. Furthermore, China is looking even further ahead, with plans to export maglev technology to regions like Southeast Asia and Europe, countries such as Indonesia and Thailand, with an increasing demand for high-speed transportation, are potential markets for this technology. In Europe, where current high-speed rail lines top out at around 186 China's maglev could reshape how major cities like Paris, Berlin, and London connect with each other. The maglev export market is projected to reach a value of 100 billion in the next two decades, offering not only economic benefits, but also reinforcing China's position as a leader in green transportation. With low emissions and high energy efficiency, maglev could become a sustainable solution for countries seeking to reduce the environmental impact of transportation. When compared to the United States, the difference in vision becomes clear. The U currently allocates only zero one foot of its transportation budget to high-speed technologies like maglev, while China is 10, 15 years ahead in this field. Low-speed rail lines, like the Los Angeles-San Francisco route, with a three-hour travel time for 380 miles, are hard to compete with compared to the efficiency of China's maglev. However, China's leadership is not just a challenge, but a call for other countries, including the U. 
to invest more heavily in future technologies. If maglev becomes the standard for intercontinental transportation by 2050, as China is aiming for, the world could witness a revolution in how people travel, connect, and develop. China is not just building trains, but shaping a super fast future where distance is no longer a barrier. China has made history with the T-Flight project in maglev technology, propelling high-speed transportation to unprecedented levels. With a record-breaking speed of 623 maximum, innovations such as AI-powered navigation, composite vacuum tubes, and integrated renewable energy, China has not only surpassed Japan, but also left other nations, including the U, far behind in the race for transportation technology. These accomplishments are not just about speed, they stand as proof of China's strategic vision, persistent investment, and commitment to building a more sustainable future. China's maglev system is changing the way the world views transportation. From shortening travel times between megacities, alleviating pressure on airport, to significantly cutting carbon emissions, maglev offers unparalleled economic, social, and environmental benefits. While the U, C, remains focused on low-speed rail lines, China has laid the foundation for an era of ultra-high-speed transportation with ambitions to connect continents in just a few hours. This serves as a reminder that, in order to catch up, the O needs to invest more heavily in research and infrastructure. Learning from China's pioneering example, China's vision is opening up a world where cities thousands of miles apart are connected in the blink of an eye, where transportation is not only fast, but also green and efficient. With maglevs, China is not only leading today, but also shaping the future of global transportation. What do you think? How do you believe the completion of the T-Flight project will change the future of transportation? Will other countries like the U, SA, take measures to catch up with China, or will they continue to let China lead? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest insights on technology, national strategies, and innovations that are shaping the future. Top 10 Discoveries Official will be back with untold stories, groundbreaking projects, and quiet revolutions that are making waves globally. See you in the next video.